even to really like put some attention to detail to the things I'm about to discuss. But because I can't fly today, I'm going to put it out today. I mean, we have an action packed week. We have roller coasters a on the weekend um, and then we have our construction tour this week. So I'm, I'm going to put this video out now. So this is an interesting theory. And again, it is a theory. So please take this with a grain of salt. Um, but that being said, a lot of you remember when Skyrider was removed um, back in 2015, there were signs of construction of a potential coaster coming to Wonderland. In fact, there were such big signs. There was markers in similar locations to the markings that we're seeing here for Yukon Striker. And there was also kind of like digging going on on Skyrider's Plot of Land. And then out of nowhere, the construction walls disappeared, the markings disappeared, and everything just went silent. So we went from looking like we were getting a coaster to suddenly not looking like we're getting a coaster and then not getting a coaster. So this video kind of answers a lot of those questions. So a lot of people and a lot of rumors were going around. Did Wonderland lose our dive coaster to Cedar Point? Well, my answer, and again, this is just my opinion, is yes, Cedar Point took Canada's Wonderland's dive coaster. I'm not saying we were going to get Val Raven to the T. Um, we were definitely going to get Yukon Striker, what you see here, because this POV and rendering is from 2015. You can tell if you look closely, it is missing two attractions and it has attractions that were removed between 2015 and 2019 now. So as you can see in the water park right there, there's old water slides that have now been removed and replaced. And if you looked over in the um, Lumberjack and Flying, or sorry, Lumberjack, Flying Canoes and... Um, Soaring Timbers area, those attractions are missing and the mini golf is still there. That tells you a lot. So in my opinion, I think it is safe to say now that Yukon Striker was meant to go to Canada's Wonderland in 2016 for the 2016 season, and it has been postponed for several reasons. Now, I'm going to discuss some of those reasons, and I'm not going to say they are definitely correct, but I think that, you know, being a stockholder and kind of knowing a few things about business and all that, I think what I say is what I'm going to say is pretty accurate. And uh, if you disagree or you have a differing opinion, feel free to comment down below. Um, I, I like to respond to anyone and anything about anything. <laughs> but um, a couple of things that were going on back then were Cedar Point was investing in very large capital capital. Um, investments such as hotels so the hotel breakers got a massive renovation it got you know they were upgrading the towers they were adding more rooms and cedar point had all these hotel rooms and their attendance was stagnant so hotel rooms were the fear of not of hotel rooms not being booked was definitely going around and you had an attraction going to canada's wonderland that didn't necessarily need one so for anyone that knows canada's wonderland canada's wonderland has always had an attendance growth it's usually in the 3% range. So Canada's Wonderland's always been growing, usually in the 3% range. So whenever a company looks at this, you have one park that's building these massive, like millions upon millions of dollar hotels and rooms and expanding. And their attendance is sitting at like, you know, zero, 1%. And they have these hotel rooms they need to fill. They definitely need an emergency coaster. So what probably happened here is they were like, hey, well, Canada's Wonderland can wait a couple years, and it turned out to be a little longer than a couple years. Canada's Wonderland can wait a couple years. Let's put some extra thought into Yukon Striker and the area surrounding it. Let's work on, you know, this idea called Frontier Canada and make this a bigger concept. Because if you look at this rendering, there's no Frontier Canada in it. So I honestly think Frontier Canada was a later kind of thought. And it came to the table, and maybe Matt Wieman or whoever, you know, at the time was involved in making these decisions was like, Let's make this a bigger deal. Can it, let's make Canada's Wonderland a theme park. It already is very close to being called a theme park. It's like right there. It has a little like lackluster areas, but let's make it a truly Canadian theme park. So with that being said, um, we go back to Cedar Point. Cedar Point needs an emergency coaster. What better coaster to build than a dive coaster? Dive coasters are simple to design. They're almost like copy and paste coasters i get it they're not really copy and paste coasters don't attack me down below but they're essentially a lot easier to design than an out and back coaster and they're very easy to plug in a small plot of land now if you look at val raven its construction timeline was extremely small in fact we use this a lot to kind of predict that yukon striker would be a much larger coaster than val raven due to the timeline so val raven started construction 
truly started construction back in September, but they didn't start anywhere close to construction like we're seeing on Yukon Striker until late October. So that right there also kind of hints that, you know, last minute addition, something's up. So with all that being said, so you have, you know, Yukon Striker was delayed. You have Val Raven as a last minute investment. Um, and Val Raven was a huge success story for Cedar Point from what we've heard. So attendance boosted, hotel rooms were probably being booked. And uh, it was a win-win in all scenarios. Wonderland got Skyhawk. Um, their attendance grew, I think, 2 or 3% in that year, 2016. Cedar Point had attendance growth. And now we're getting Frontier Canada with Yukon Striker. So in, in reality, yes, it sucks. Canada's Wonderland had to wait an extra couple years or extra four years for Yukon Striker. But now we get Frontier Canada, a truly immersive new themed area coming to Canada's Wonderland. And we don't even know its true depths. I mean, the Frontier Canada is not shown in this video. Again, what's shown in this video is what was planned back in 2016. So we're missing flying canoes. We're missing the theming. Um, we were told at Media Day, you know, that essentially what we see in this POV is not going to be on the ride. So even the station could look different. Um, and uh, we're going to find out a few more details this Thursday for our construction tour, behind the scenes hard hat tour. So, I mean, there's a lot that definitely insinuates that Yukon Striker was a delayed coaster and Cedar Point definitely stole Canada's Wonderland's coaster in 2016, but for good reasons. We're not sitting here arguing or, you know, out of jealousy going, oh, why did Cedar Point steal our coaster? It all makes sense from a business standpoint. I'm someone that, you know, their background is in business and marketing. So I fully understand the decision making process that led Canada's Wonderland having to give up its coaster investments for 2016 and give it on over to Cedar Point. And I honestly and truly believe that the end game for Canada's Wonderland is going to be truly strong. In fact, I'm working on a separate video that suggests that, you know, when a lot of people are like Cedar Point's the most spoiled park or Carowinds is the most spoiled park. Well, if you really look at investments over time at Wonderland, Wonderland has been the most spoiled park in the Cedar Fair chain. And yes, I'm pointing the finger at my own home park. Um, a lot of enthusiasts are like, why doesn't Canada's Wonderland get a coaster every couple years like the other parks, blah, blah, blah. But you have to look at the bigger picture here. Canada's Wonderland every year, essentially every year, gets a big high thrill attraction. Whether it be a flat ride or a coaster, Canada's Wonderland is getting the most thrilling attractions each year out of all the Cedar Fair parks. I mean, last year we got two flat rides and a water park expansion and then a coaster next year. Cedar Point got a coaster in 2018 and then didn't get a flat ride in 2019. Those are just some specific examples. I'm not going to go too into detail because I really want to make a video about this concept because truly I think that, you know, enthusiasts in Canada need to open their eyes to how spoiled that our park really is and understand that we're not going to get a coaster every year, but we are going to get nice attractions. Anyways, hopefully this video really opened your eyes to the concept of our coaster being delayed to 2018 versus, uh, sorry, 2019 versus 2016 and the reasons behind it and the evidence of Cedar Point needing that investment. Um, and why don't you guys go dive in deep and look at the, um, the evidence as well. Look at that green water slide in the POV, lumberjack, flying canoes, and uh, soaring timbers missing and the mini golf being there. And no theming or Frontier Canada being shown in the POV. And then the signs of construction disappearing. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching.